I'm Shannon Martin and this is our Toronto. Well, it's something anyone trying to find a rental in the GTA knows well. The market is tight and rents just keep going up. But there's another challenge many tenants are facing after they move in. They're called renovictions. David Common has more from renters and experts who are calling it a crisis. Toronto saw a record number of shootings last year and just hours into 2020, an all too familiar scene playing out once again. Two people sitting in a car that was sprayed with bullets. One of them died, the other remains in hospital. Our Angelina King is live for us at the scene tonight. Angelina, police have just given us an update about the victim's identity. For some, Airbnb is a great way to travel or help pay off your mortgage. Others say it's taking money right out of their pockets. An organization called Fairbnb wants the city to crack down on commercial companies they say are taking advantage of the home sharing boom downtown. A new study shows that chief executives are making record amounts of money compared to the rest of us. Earlier today, by 10.09 this morning to be exact, the top CEOs already made $52,000. That's more than the average worker will make the entire year. Well, that was a few young people we spoke to earlier on what they hope will happen in the next decade. The Toronto woman in this next story has dreams of her own. We met up with her at the Ontario Science Centre. You've traveled the world, you've had so many adventures, but in 2019, this year, you did something that few people probably have done or would dare to do, and that's repel a volcano. So how did that come to be? With rent only rising, some wonder if Toronto is becoming a playground for the rich. Next, we go inside one household where just to make ends meet, one woman sleeps in the kitchen. When you think about algae, you probably think of that smelly gunk that litters some lake shores. Well, the GTA company in this next story says it actually could be a secret weapon in the fight against climate change. We hit the road to see how it works. The jackpot for tonight's Lotto Max draw is a record $70 million. That's the largest prize ever in Canada. And that has many racing to their local lottery retailer to get tickets. Greg Ross joins us live from a gas station on Spadina. Greg, many people are hoping to cash in on this money, but you kind of have a reality check for us. Nick Sirkovich is here with our first look at the forecast. I don't know if you saw that lady heading into the gas station. She was already cheering like she won the thing. <laughs> I Too know, funny. that's because she hasn't heard her odds of winning <laughs> yeah. yet, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll have that depressing news yeah, a little later yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. And that's it for our Toronto. For now, you can check out much more of our No Fixed Address series on our website. Just go to cbc.ca slash Toronto, and you can send me your story idea on renting if you'd like. Shannon.martin at cbc.ca. Thank you so much for watching.